everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm in my garage today, so if there's any loud noise, wind blowing, birds chirping, I apologize in advance. I'm doing this video with what I have and where I'm at at this point, because if not, a video will never get done. So thanks for tuning in. I figured while the storefront is actually at a standstill at this point because of this virus, I thought what a great time to kind of dive into some of the things that happen behind the scenes when finishing furniture. So everyone knows that really awesome piece that I got the other day, the record player. I love it. I just keep admiring it every single day. I'm so grateful to my friend Anne who helped me find it on the curb. Super, super grateful for that. When I got it home, I looked at the piece really thoroughly and I found what I find very often, a couple mistakes that people typically do when they start refinishing furniture. It's not a just jump into it type project. You really need to kind of investigate and research a little bit before you start sanding or anything like that. So I wanted to show you a couple mistakes that's very common when people are starting to refinish furniture. If you do your research in advance, it's gonna save you a lot of time trying to fix the mistakes that you may have made. So let me flip the screen so you can actually see what I'm talking about. As you can see, the sandy marks are very visible at this point, and they're going every different direction if you can see. So what you wanna do is figure out the grain of the wood, and this the grain of this wood piece is actually going this direction and see how the sand marks are really kind of going every single direction. That's not what we want. So when we're sanding, we want to apply even pressure and go up and down with the grain of the wood. I always recommend doing smaller areas just to kind of get an idea of what it looks like underneath, but do not do what this past person did. That's going to really cause a lot of work to fix in the future when you're on your next step. The next trick I want to talk to you about is it's really simple and just a lot of people just don't take the extra time to do it and I really wish they would because it would save you a lot of pain and annoyance once you start working on a piece. Just remove the hardware. Do you see how these sand marks went all the way around this? Not only did they go against the grain, but they were actually going around the hardware itself. Now to remove this, it just is two simple screws right through the back. See, all you need is a screwdriver, take that baby off, and now you have a really great surface to sand on. So step one, make sure you're sanding with the grain. Step two, always remember to remove the hardware. So I know these tips for some might seem very, very simple, and I'm grateful if that's the case. But obviously, a lot of people still make these mistakes because I see it all the time. So be sure to sand with the grain, remove the hardware, and you're going to save yourself a lot of sanity and a lot of time. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time with more tips and tricks to refinishing furniture.